If you're new to my faction and looking for a guide to help get you started, then this series, which is brought to you and powered by 2K UK, will walk you through everything that you need to know to get up and running, such as how to set up your faction, unlock new cards, compete online, and even unlock a few freebies. When delving into my faction for the first time, the first thing you'll have to decide on is a starter pack, of which there are four types available, with options for high flyers, powerhouses, strikers, or technicians. The type of pack that you choose is completely up to you, as each category comes with its own strengths and weaknesses, though if you're new to the series, I would suggest going for the strikers pack, as strikers are brawlers that feature perks based around strikes and combos, which are easy to pick up and play. Once you select your pack, you'll receive your first set of cards, which you can keep the suspense and reveal one at a time, or save time and reveal them all together. As part of the Strikers pack, I pulled an Emerald card for Grayson Waller as my strongest card on the men's side, with the remaining cards being a mixture of lower rated bronze and silver cards. Over on the women's side, I got an Emerald card for Blade Davenport, which was backed up by a Gold Asker and a mixture of bronze and silvers. Also contained in the pack as a free bonus item was a special gold card for Seamus09 which you'll receive as a free item regardless of the pack that you choose. This version of Seamus is different to other cards as this is a special Persona card which is one of this year's new features as Persona cards are special items that also unlock that superstar in other modes so you'll see Seamus09 added as a playable character on the main selection screen. Also contained in the pack, we got a set of cosmetic items, a manager card for Sonya Deville, silver side plates, and several tickets for faction wars, which we'll get to later. With the first pack opened, the next step is to name your faction, so I'm going to go ahead and name this one Smack Talks. With our faction named, it's time to choose which stars will be a part of it, as we'll have to select 4 male and 4 female superstars to fill out each division. When starting out, it's best to go with your strongest lineup, so choose your highest rated card first and continue to add cards in order of their rating. Once you have your lineup selected, you can give your stars a boost using the side plates that we got in our starter pack. To add a side plate, select the card that you want to boost and choose Edit Side Plates. Each card will vary on how many side plates can be assigned, with Grayson Waller having two slots available, though other stars may have as little as one or as many as four. Each side plate comes with its own perk, such as the heavy handed side plate that adds plus 6 arm power for a duration of 5 matches. Side plates are a great way to boost your stats, especially when starting out, as you can use them to boost cards with a lower rating to bring the stats up. Now that we've confirmed our initial lineup, the next step is to set our cosmetic items, which come in the form of nameplates, logos, and wallpapers. If we select the strikers items that we received in the starter pack, then this will update our faction's design and give us a preview of how it will be displayed to others. As you play through my faction, there's hundreds of cosmetic items to unlock, which you can use to give your team its own unique look. The final part of setting up your faction is to assign a manager card, such as the Sonya Deville card that we received in the starter pack, as assigning a manager will apply a boost to your entire team. Like superstar cards, manager cards also feature a range of styles, with Sonya featuring an aggressive style that works best with powerhouses and strikers. To see how compatible a manager is, you can check out the compatibility column which will tell you how well this manager works with your current lineup. As aggressive managers work best with strikers, Sonya's compatibility is excellent which awards us a boost to strike reversal. With our faction setup complete, we're now ready to get started. Upon proceeding to the main hub, you'll be notified of the daily login rewards, as logging into my faction will grant you a reward for each day that you log in. The reward you see will vary from day to day, with offerings such as tickets to faction wars, packs containing side plates, and various amounts of my faction points which you can save up to buy cards or packs. Should you log in for 5 days in a single week, then this will unlock a special loyalty bonus which will reward you with a free card pack and the chance to pull new superstars. Once you've logged in, you'll be taken to the My Faction homepage which displays the latest news and alerts you of current and upcoming events. This is also where you can access the Challenges menu, which are a series of daily, weekly and lifetime challenges which reward you with My Faction points, VC, card packs and special promotional cards such as this Daniel Wallace card which you receive for viewing the lifetime challenges. Also shown on the main hub, we have an option for locker codes, which are unique codes that are shared by 2K and allow you to unlock special promotional items, card packs and points. 
We also have a live events section, which contains special timed events which you can compete in to earn special rewards. Moving over to the Play tab, this is where you can compete in various offline modes. These modes include Faction Wars 2.0, where you'll compete in a series of different match types ranging from 1 on 1 to 4 vs 4, where you'll continue to face new opponents until you're defeated. Each attempt or run costs 5 Faction Wars tickets to enter, though you don't have to complete your run in a single sitting as you can come back to it later. For each match that you win, you'll receive Faction Wars credits which you can then exchange to unlock new cards. The more matches that you win and the more points you save, then the better the cards that you can unlock. Players can also compete in Weekly Towers, which are a series of matches featuring a variety of opponents and match types. Completing all of a week's matches will see you rewarded with a completion reward such as this Sapphire card for Dakota Kai. As you progress from week to week, the better the rewards become, with the final week seeing you unlock a special attire card for Stardust. Also available to play offline is Proving Grounds, which is a great starting point, as this option sees you compete in a series of matches against low-level enhancement talent, with each match featuring a set objective which you can also complete to earn extra rewards and unlock the next match. As well as receiving rewards for completing match objectives, players can also earn rewards for completing each chapter, with the higher the chapter, the better the reward. For players that prefer to take the action online and face off against real-world opponents, the Multiplayer tab provides the option to compete in ranked matches, which will track your progress over the course of a season and see you climb the online leaderboard where the higher you rank, the more prestigious the prize. Alternately, should you want to play online without the pressure of a ranked match, you can also compete in Quick Play, which allows you to jump straight into an online match without it affecting your ranking. Switching to the Headquarters tab, we have My Faction Management, where you can customise your lineup and your cosmetics, My Collection, where you can view all of your cards and see which other cards are included in the catalogue, Evolution Cards, which allow you to upgrade certain cards as you progress, and your Collector Level, which will unlock various rewards as you continue to collect cards. Switching over to the Store tab, here we have a pack market that allows you to purchase card packs for the chance to pull new superstars. We have a card market which is new to 2K24, and this allows you to buy specific cards, which is handy if you need a certain card to compete in a live event. Also available, we have a token market, where you can spend any tokens that you've earned playing matches and completing objectives, as you can use them to unlock cards specific to the token market. For players that want to get an advantage and buy VC to spend on packs, then you can do this through the Get VC option, which offers up a bundle of VC at various price points. Finally, we have an unopened packs section, which contains any card packs that you've earned and not yet opened. To get started, we're going to select the Proving Grounds option, as this is a great introduction in how objectives and rewards work. In Proving Grounds, we're going to select the first chapter and select the first match in the Strange Start Path, which sees us face off against a low rated enhancement talent. This match is a one on one contest with no time limit, though it comes with a match objective that challenges us to win the match and earn at least 30 MFP from match actions. To check what these are, we can press square to bring up the guide, which displays a list of match actions and the rewards that you get for completing them. All of the challenges that are listed under match actions can be completed once per match, and you can complete as many of these as you like, so if you want to maximise your points, then you can attempt to complete all of the general actions, as well as the actions specific to your class, as each class has their own set of actions and reward points, such as the striker's Java Java action of landing 10 light attacks. When selecting the first match, you'll be given the choice of difficulty, with options for normal, hard and legendary. Depending on the level you choose, the match objectives will update to adjust the required points needed to clear it. For the benefit of this tutorial, let's go with the normal option. Selecting normal takes us to the lineup screen where we need to select the superstar that's going to compete in the match, so let's go with our strongest card, Grayson Waller. As we jump into the action, you'll notice that the screen includes a tracker for all the points that we've earned and our target of 30 which we need to clear the match. We also have the option to view match actions, which you can view by pressing the start button. This allows us to check on the actions throughout the match so that we can remember what the actions are that we need to perform and how close we are to completing them. To complete some of the easy ones, let's start with the asking for objective, which we can do by returning to the match and pressing right on the D-pad to perform an opponent taunt. 
As we complete the taunt, you'll get a notification to show that the action has been completed with the points for the objective then being added to the MFP earned. To reach the objective of 30 points, we can also complete the showboat action by performing a crowd taunt which you can do by pressing left on the D-pad. Now that we have enough points earned to progress, we can look to end the match or we can check out the other match actions and maximise our earnings by completing as many of these as possible. As we continue to complete objectives, you'll get notifications for each to let you know that those objectives have been completed. Once you've finished completing objectives, you can look to end the match and win by pinfall or submission which will then take you to the victory screen and give you a rundown of all the actions that you completed and the points that you earned with this match awarding 180 points in total. With this match completed, this unlocks the next match in the chapter so that you can carry on and complete the remaining matches to unlock the chapter reward. That's where I'm going to end this first episode, but if you want some homework before the next, then I'll leave you with a challenge of completing the first chapter, then we'll pick things up in the next episode and I'll show you how to go about opening packs, adjusting your lineup and competing in live events. Until then though, I hope you found this video useful, thank you so much for watching, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.